let's see how to use the curve tool to annotate over a map. So we're going to be mapping out John Cabot's exploration of the new world. So let's grab a new slide. We're going to grab a blank one. And we're going to choose our background by choosing an image. We're going to go to our Google Drive and click on Recent and grab the map that we're going to use. Okay, now we need to map out where John Cabot went. So he started in the United Kingdom and he went over here, looked at some of this stuff, and then came back and went right back to England. So we're going to grab the line tool. And from this menu, we're going to grab the curve option. And what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to click to start our line. And then anytime we click, it's going to add a point for our line to get off of. So I'm going to click to drag my line over here. Now, when he got up here, he doubled back on himself. So I'm going to click a couple extra times here so that I can make the curve do what I want it to do. You'll notice that if I grab and pull, the line kind of moves away. So the more times that I click, the more precise I can get my line. So we're going to click all the way back. He crossed his previous path and he wound up here. To finish the line, I'm going to double tap and that has completed my line. Now that the line is highlighted, I can go and give it a fill color. Let's make this one, oh, not the fill color, that's going to fill in the whole shape. So to undo that, hit Control and Z. I'm going to choose the line color. Let's make it red and let's make the line weight a little heavier so we can see it. And I think three, let's try four. Yeah, I like four. Okay, let's click on the line again. And it gives us a line start and a line end option. So the line start, I'm going to start with a pinpoint so we can see where he started from. And then I'm going to get an arrow at the line end so I can see which direction he went. So I can see he started here and followed this path to get right back to England.